know what, this is by the coal deposit, but we're using that coal for power generation. So I could probably overclock it and then just put a splitter there just so we can get some coal going to make black powder. And then quartz. Wait, I do have quartz. Hang on. Where are you? I only have 15, so never mind. Quartz, let's see here, is used to produce silica, which is used for something. So, we need to bring back some quartz with us. And we need to turn some of that quartz into silica. Alright. So, let's go over here, put our... We need biomass in here. And then we will put our leaves in here, our wood in here. And this will just keep producing stuff. We'll put our flower petals in here. You know what, I still need to stow away these organs and carapaces. I don't really use them, do I? Get rid of this. Sort this out. So we have six of these power shards. Let's see, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we're bringing resources over... Need concrete. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What else did we need? Okay, we need copper sheets, that much I do know. And then... And I probably should have ch checked this earlier. Should have left resources over there. Uh, I was doing refineries. Okay, so we need motors. We have those. We have industrial steel beams. We have steel pipes and copper sheets. Okay, how's this doing? running out of plastic okay so whatever now what goes in here cables all right let's put some cables in here it's more cables and I guess one more stack of copper sheets we have lots of Copper sheets now. And how many computers do we have? 30. You know, let's put the computers back here. We don't need them. And then we'll bring more steel pipes. Okay, we need another stack of motors. Let's just bring that with us. Okay, so it looks like our iron ingots are still good over here and over here. So we don't need to do anything still, but we can upgrade the iron ingots over there even more. We don't really need these rotors, so let's bring another stack of motors. And you know what? These nuts can go here. Give us one more stack. Bring another stack of motors. Okay, so let's go. And I said at the beginning of this session, which is like a few parts back, like five or six parts, that I would be making computers, and I still haven't done that. I'm now working on copper ingots, which I need for copper sheets. But oh, I parked that there, so never mind. Anyway, we're going to go back. We're going to get more copper ingots out. We're going to build a second line here so that we can make copper sheets. And you need to go faster. I guess it's uphill, so 
Can't go any faster. This is going downhill, so we're going much faster. There we go. I did bring concrete with us, right? Yes, we did. Alright, let's start putting down the concrete. And then we need to get rid of this stuff over here. Get out of the way, whatever it is you are. Get out of the way, damn it. Get out. Messing up my build. Alright, so let's continue building this way. go now let's chainsaw this oh there's a rock there and we can't reach it Damn you. Oh, bacon ag agaric. Enough space for bacon. Alright. Alright then, I know what you mean. And here's some presents. Let's burn some more concrete. So we can make room for stuff. Okay, this should be enough space. Or wait a minute. Maybe we can build it like this. And then have the copper go through here. And have the water go through here. Okay, so refineries. Refineries, refineries, refineries. This thing takes up a lot of space. And then it can start here. Okay, so one, two. Wait, how many can we support? So 15 per minute. This takes 30 per minute, right? So there's eight smelters over here. We can support 16 smelters or 16 uh, refineries. All right, let's do that. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, it's 14, right? We have 14 smelters over here, or 14 refineries. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we can fit two more. And that's without overclocking. Like, I got the feeling that I'm already fucking something up, but we're about to find out eventually. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, two more refineries. One and two. And let's get thing over here. Just so we have some space to move around in this area. Pretty much like blocking off the river here. I guess that's okay. And then, water extractors. Like, how many water extractors do we need? The pure needs 10 per minute. So that's 160 per minute. How much does this make me? Come on, come on, come on. No, we'll put it like this. We'll jump down here. I guess we can get that slug. It's over here. Since the game is making it so obvious that it's here. Green power slug. It kind of looks different from the other green power slugs. Probably because it's underwater, but... I don't know, something about it looks really different. This will produce... 120 per minute. So we need two of them. Well, let's just go back up here. Except we can't go back up here. We just dig a hole and then jump up here. Yes, we can. Something just went crunch. Okay, let's align this like so. And we need more concrete. But before we go back... I'm gonna install the power poles here. Except we need concrete for that. Alright then. Let's just withdraw concrete from our concrete bank. Okay, so that's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we'll hook this up. Just so we don't have to do this later. So if my math checks out, this is going to cost 480 megawatts of power. So 30 each. 30 times 4 is 120. 120 times 4 is 480. Damn, I'm so good at math. Some of the time.
All right. We're done. Oh, we also need to put... Let's line this up like so. And then, you know what? We'll have foundations over here as well. We'll bring, we'll pipe the water in. We'll have a pump bringing water up here. And we'll have the power poles down here. Before we can do that, we need more concrete. So let's head back. But you know what? Let's add the mergers already. And we still have the resources for that, so let's get this over with. And so all the resources go in this direction. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, this is still aligned, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, oh fuck, so all of this is aligned now. So let's just connect all of these. Now hopefully all of my math checks out and we can properly supply everything in here. I guess obviously not going to be very balanced because it's going to start from that end and go all the way down here. But I don't think it really matters because we're going to have lots of copper ingots coming in. Okay, we still need to do this area over here. I feel like I should build a line down here and then just start in the middle. But let's do that. Hey, it's a splitter I want. Okay, so one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's not do that first. Okay, all of this is aligned now. And then the rest will go in the other direction. One. Two. Three. Four. 
five. Oh, damn you. Okay, so that's five. Six. Seven. And eight. Make sure this can all connect. I might as well maximize each trip because I can only carry so much every time. Once I burn through this, I can bring other resources with me. I still need lots and lots of concrete. Then we need to clear out that area over there. I also need to bring pipes all the way over here. Oh yeah, I brought lots of copper sheets, so I'll burn through that as well while I'm here. Damn, this is a lot of belts. Oh, I did build 16 of these, so okay. Alright, stackable pipelines. We can't afford these, we need concrete. So, never mind. You know, let's build a personal storage box over here, and then we'll put some of our copper sheets. We don't have that many copper sheets. Well, all right then. Put some of our reinforced iron plates in here as well. And steel plates, or iron plates. What else can we bring? Cables. Two stacks of steel beams and steel plates, respectively. Okay, now we can go back. Just wanted to dump our inventory. Extra items, just in case. Hey, right, let's bring more concrete. I mean, look how many that is, damn. Should be able to power all of those. There's more presents. I feel like this entire world will just be littered with presents. I'm not even going to use them. I mean, it's just Christmas decorations. Right? Okay, let's go concrete over here. Yeah, I still have to work on the milestone. Well, it's just pipes with higher throughput, so whatever. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. That is a lot of it. And then we'll take some iron plates. Get rid of this empty stack. Three stacks of iron plates, three stacks of rods. Okay, we need more copper sheets. And we need to get rid of this plastic. I don't think we use plastic much. Oh, while we're at it, might as well have taken some plastic from over there. Alright, so we'll continue fueling our makeshift work area. Just so that we can get some computers going. Like, we still haven't automated computers, and 
I said I was going to do it, but then I got sidetracked with upgrading our production over there, over there, and over there. I still need to work on copper sheets so that I can produce the... Whatever it's called that's needed for computers. Let's put your copper sheets here. Actually, let's take one stack and then we'll put the plastic in here. Copper cables, I can put more here. And then we still have a lot of screws. You know what? Let's get rid of our screws. Because we're not really using them. You know what? Let's take all of them and then dump whatever we don't need into the hub for the milestone. We still need to do this. Anyway, we still have plenty of iron, uh, copper sheets. We need to put plastic in here. Plastic and rubber. And heavy modular frames. Okay, let's dump all of our biomass into the biomass thing. Okay, we got lots of leaves and wood. And then all of our flower petals can go in here. We don't need them. Okay, what else we got? Oh, the slug. You need to get rid of the slug, turn it into a power shard, and then turn it, and then store it. Oh, we also need encased industrial beams. The encased industrial beams and steel beams and steel pipes. Okay, I think we're almost done here. We just need to go back one more time and then finish up all of the production. Take two stacks of this. And then we'll drop down here, get our... Damn it, don't climb up. Climb down. There we go. One, two... Four stacks. And then... A lot of steel beams. All right. So this is going well. Now we just need to go over there. All right. I. Uh, it's this one, right? Yeah. And it's really dark in the factory. Like, I wish they would get some lights in there. Or is there already lights in the game and I just didn't see them yet? Or didn't research them or don't have access to them yet? Oh, hey, there's a moon. You know, I didn't see that before. Like, how many... Natural satellites are in this place. There's one that I somehow didn't see before. I should probably read up on the lore of this place, of this game. Or maybe not. Don't really care about that kind of stuff. Really just want to play the game, you know? Okay, so this can go over here. See, this is the tricky part. Because you can make it go in either direction. That's why I'm waiting until 
I get the outputs before I build the conveyor belts towards the factory. That way I get it right the first time. Okay, so let's put the conveyor pole over here. Conveyor belt is too long. Okay, we'll do something about that. Alright, so let's start building the foundations down here. Okay, this is where we built the foundations. Should also build ramps, so if we fall down, we can just get back up here. And you need to stop turning around. Why do I have to keep rotating this? <laughs> 